What up? Welcome back to The Novelist. This is episode 11. We are in chapter 6, The Funeral. So we are going to explore and find out what's going on. Dan, big news. Got a call from Bracket Books and Eugene, and they want you to do a reading from Winsong. Maybe even some Q&A, some book signings, and all that good stuff. I think you should do it. In fact, I'm going to be pretty pissed if you don't. Bracket is a big outlet, and if this goes well, orders for the new book will definitely go up. I don't need to remind you how long it's been since Tramer's Way came out. If you don't keep your name out there, no one will even notice when you finish the new book, whatever it's called. Hell, speaking of the new one, why don't you read some of it too? Maybe the second chapter you sent me last month. That was pretty good. Brackets Books, Eugene the 21st. See you there, Paul. P.S. You know the long game, right? Nailing this one can mean even bigger advance on the next book. Aha. So I can already guess what's going to happen here. What's this? Mark the 21st of this month on your calendars for one day only. Watch the world famous Fighter 5 as they scream across the sky. Witness death defying defe feats of flying in a display unlike anything you've ever seen. Gu guaranteed to blow you away. Don't miss it. So there's an air show. Anne, I just got off the phone with Mom. She told me about Grandma Joe. I know we expected it sooner rather than later, but. This is hitting me so much harder than when Granddad died last year. Do you remember going to Grandma Joe's house after school on Wednesdays and playing until Mom got off work? How Grandma Joe always had a surprise for us? Even if it was just cookies in the oven, she'd always time it so the whole house would smell like them when we got there. I hope the minister captures those little moments because they don't seem as little now. I wish the circumstances were different, but it will still be good to see you at the funeral. What am I saying? You probably won't even get this until after the funeral. I guess I just needed to write anyway. Love, Linda. So her grandma died. Reservations for Friday. I hope we can find a babysitter. I thought she was going to see me. Let's see what Linda's talk, thinking about. Man, can't believe. Just got back from the show, if you can even call it that. I didn't sell a single piece, which isn't a surprise given the turnout. I know Dan had other things on his mind, but I told him how important it was to me. It was such a good opportunity to figure out what I want to do when we get back home, too. But I can't make up my mind based on such a half-hearted exhibit. Was that Dan's way of telling me he's not ready for me to go back? I don't want to read too much into it, at least not so soon, but it's really hard not to. Hmm. So that was a pretty bad show. Seems like. He's crying. Presumably from the phone call. So long since anyone's heard from her. Want a new plane. Oh, there's Tommy going. Hey. Hi. Hey mom. Let's see what Stan is thinking of? Lynn, I'm so sorry. Tell me what I can do. Just be here for me. So he's thinking about he's consoling his wife. But she found out her grandma had died. Oh. Did it. Got it to Paul on Monday and just about dropped on the spot. Barely slept Sunday night, but damn it, I got it in. Abject terror is a pretty strong motivator. Linda understood, I guess. She had her own deadline, so at least she could identify. But in the end, it was still a choice, and she didn't let me off the hook. Can't blame her, really. Sometimes you just have to make tough calls. That's why they're called tough calls. 
That's why they're called tough calls. Yeah, this <laughs> the decisions in this game are definitely tough calls. Let's go over here. Oh, that one's turned off too. Interesting. So can I? Wow, that's tough. Hey, mommy. Hi, honey. Huh? Oof. Did I spook him? Oh, yeah, Man, he came right around that corner right as I drop down. It's Tommy's thinking of picture he's drew with his dad again. No surprise there. I'm sure she is, honey. Is she in heaven? Oh, asking about his grandma. It's a beautiful sight out there. <laughs> Have to be the twenty first. Oh, I gotta call Paul again. I gotta call Paul again. Well, he's in here, which means I should be able to... Oh, crap. No. How do I get out of here? Dang it. I'm sure there's something in here, yep. Yeah, walk, walk through. Yeah, get out of here. There's a picture of Tommy Drew flying a plane. It's got a lot of pages. Oh, no. Joe's funeral is the same day as the signing in Eugene, and Paul says they can't move it. He'll understand if I bail because he knows Linda, but Grofield is a different story. They won't give a damn why I missed it. They'll just get a memo and put it in a spreadsheet somewhere and write me off just a little bit more. And it's not just the timing. If I do the reading, I've got to get that chapter in shape. It's not even remotely ready for anyone to see it. Can't worry about what Paul says. He's my agent. He's supposed to stroke me. And what about Tommy? Man. Hello. Oh, hi. careful here because I don't know where everybody is. Keep it together for Tommy. So once I get in this room it's kind of tricky to get out. Do some serious work on that chapter first. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, mommy. The magazine says there's going to be tons of planes. Oh, no, I can't get out of here now. <laughs> Dang it. Come on, people. Get out of here. So, the funeral's on the 21st, Dan's book signing's on the 21st, and the plane show is on the 21st. Holy moly. Well, definitely got to do the funeral. Right? I mean, that's just like a no-brainer, right? I walked out to the bluff to remember Grandma Joe and say goodbye. And on the way back, I started thinking about what it really means to have a family. To make that your focus. She seemed to take such joy in being surrounded by her family, providing for them, taking care of them. I hope I never took that for granted. When I got back to the house, a question hit me that I can't get out of my head. What will Tommy think about Dan and me when he gets older? And what if Tommy has kids of his own? I can't even begin to think of myself as a grandmother. 
I haven't even been a mother for that long and I'm still feeling my way through what it means to be a good one. At least I'll always have an example. I miss you, Grandma Jo, and I'll never forget you. I promise. Uh -huh. So let's see. He needs to call and buy a ticket if he's coming to the funeral. Right, there's one more clue. Hi. Here, right there by the door, by the farm. Wanted to check out real quick. I'm guessing, is it the same thing as before? Call Paul first thing tomorrow morning. Any possible way to move it? Is this thing announced yet? Oh. Don't want to do that yet. So here we go. The funeral. So Dan wants to do some serious work on the chapter and his book. Uh, or he needs to call and buy a ticket if he's going to go to the funeral. And Tommy wants to go see the planes at the plane at the airplane show so we will make the decision next time and thanks for watching and i will see you then